We've all been there. Gone out for a shiny hunt to find some of the best and most awesome looking changes in design that Game Freak or their operating system could come up with at the time. Just look at this cool shiny for Garchomp. Wait, there's a, isn't there supposed to be a difference here? Isn't that one? Isn't the one on the right supposed to? Be, oh, it is. It is shiny. Oh, well, that kind of puts a damper in this video. But today, guys, we are going to be talking about the top ten shiny colorings I would change on Pokemon. This does contain my own personal bias. It is the colors I would change. All the media is owned by their respected owners, including the music, and the music is a relaxing music compilation volume 3. The link to the YouTube video is there on the screen. Just to set this up, guys, we are not covering any of these Pokemon that are on the screen in front of you because they all have sprites that look exactly the same or pretty similar with like one or two things that change. Maybe the eye color changes. So they're not going to be in this video, of course I would change every single one of those ones, but I'm not going to make a video where I go changing almost a hundred different Pokemon shiny sprites. So that's not going to happen. Really what this video is going to focus on is the one top 10 that I think deserve to be changed just because they look really kind of weird and they need something to make them look better, like they deserve a little bit better. So what better way to start this off with an, a legendary pick at number 10, we have a layout. Before we get into that, we have an original shiny that is current and then the new shiny on the right side of the screen. So we're going to start with the legendaries from the Unova region, Kyurem, White and Black, Reshiram, and Zekrom. These ones actually look pretty cool and I always really liked Reshiram and Zekrom. It was really hard for me to pick which one I got, but I was more of a fire type person, so I chose Reshiram, obviously. Here are the shinies they have now. Reshiram doesn't change much, the eye color changes to red, the rings are now gold, and everything else is still white. Maybe a little bit of a purplish tint. Just a little bit of a purplish tint, just a hair of purplish. I'd be willing to say it's a little bit purple. Zekrom, I don't even, I can't even tell it changes, it just looks like it's... The tail is completely solid black, just a little bit darker where the blue was, and it has little green highlights instead of blue highlights, so that's a little little weird. The Kyurem actually look okay, better than Reshiram and Zekrom, but Kyurem White, we're seeing the mixture of, obviously, the shinies of Kyurem and the shiny of Reshiram put together into Kyurem White, and it's just a white. It looks pretty similar to the basic, except... Kyurem color is a darker gray and the crystal is more purplish. And the same thing with Zekrom and Kyurem black. It's just a black model with more green tint instead of the blue and a little bit more purplish in its design. So to fix this and to come up with a even better design, we have got my forms. Now, all I did for the, these guys is invert them. I inverted the color palette. Now, for shiny Reshiram, I probably would add in maybe like the blue rings around the neck and tail like the actual shiny his, except blue, so it kind of offsets the Zekrom. Uh, Resh for Zekrom, I would change the orange in the ring probably to like a bright yellow. Kyurem black and Kyurem white I think actually look pretty amazing in this set, and I would actually probably leave them exactly as they are. Moving on guys, we have number 9, which is Nihilego. Now, everybody thought this Ultra Beast was really awesome when it first came out. They didn't expect any of the storyline with it when it was first revealed, and everyone playing Sun and Moon obviously know how that game went. But the Shiny was now able to be caught with the release of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and it's gold. Now, Game Freak has this thing where, yeah, gold Shinies look cool they're okay. I don't actually hate this design, it's why it's probably higher on this list, but I don't like, I just don't like the gold on it. I think it looks okay, but I think you could do so much better. So what I did is I took it and added pink, the pinkish purple to where the blue is and give it a little bit of tip on the bottom with the purple. I also 
to help this I gave it a little bit more saturation boost as a 400% saturation boost and it's upping the temperature to it to a 7200 temperature so it looks like it's got a little bit more color in it more like a vibrancy and I think it, would, it blends well with a jellyfish type Pokemon with a little bit of a translucent type feel to it not just a solid white it looks more translucent to me Moving on, we got number 8, and that is Hitmontop. Now, the Hitmontop line is really cool because it's actually... Tyro can evolve into three different mons depending on its attack and defense stats. So if they're equal, you get Hitmontop. If you get higher attack, you get Hitmonchan, and if you get higher defense, it's Hitmonlee. The shiny sprites for the other two, they look okay. Uh, I like Hitmonchan's better. Hitmonlee just is kind of hard to change because it's one solid color. But Hitmontop they could do a little bit better. It's a pink shiny with a little bit more of a paler skin tone and I just think it looks really sick. Not like, like, oh man that's sick. More like, bleh, sick. Um, the pink, I don't like the pink on the line and it just looks like it's gonna pass out any second. So what I did is something that they did with the Hitmonchan line and give it the opposite color. So the blue, the gloves in Hitmonchan is blue and it's shiny sprite when it's actually red and regular sprite so I changed the suit I guess like the karate suit on Hitmon top to a reddish color also increased saturation on this 400% so you get a little bit more of a color feel and the brown is just a slight like a lighter woodish color instead of like a more basic brown it's more of a wood color I think that looks completely amazing I would love to see that as a shiny moving on we got number seven we got the air online and I think all the air online needs to be changed but my main focus for this one was Agron just changing it because I wanted to change it and it probably was the one that needed it the most the shiny form is a bright like crystallized blue like a turquoise type the rings change from like a steel color to a white a pure white it's making it more like skull appearance but I don't really care for it and it's got reddish eyes and the red eyes they're, it'd be cool I think if they were like blood red but they're more of a pinkish dulled back red so not my favorite so for this one we made it like this we added green eyes dark deep green eyes to offset like the creamish color for like a fleshy skull and armor set and the charcoal black around the body instead of the turquoise makes this thing look really cool it didn't have to change too much and obviously I didn't add any coloration effects to this it, this is just how it turned out and I think it's really cool making it look more fleshy with armor on it than it did with like a bright blue that doesn't scream menacing to me this one screams freaking scary to me Next we got number six and we got Dusk Noir or Dusk Noir as some people pronounce it. I don't really care about how you pronounce things. It's a really cool mon and the shiny sprite is a little lackluster. It's more of a darker brown blackish color. Getting rid of that like grayish brown thing. But not much else changes. It looks like someone just popped a blue filter on this thing and it, it sort of is okay. But what I did was change it back to how Dust Skull and Dust Clops did and make it red. Give it a red body, just change it, the body to a red, a darker red, like offset. Didn't actually do anything to this one either. And make the hands and the arms and the appendages more like a cream color. Because that is what, if you look at the Dust Skull and Dust Noir and Dust Clops with that shiny, it matches the line so much better. And I definitely think that matching shinies through an entire evolutionary line is something really cool, and I always love to see that. Now we get to number five, reaching the front half of the list. We got Skarmory just barely making it in. And this thing is not a terrible shiny. It's a goldish steel color, but it looks kind of plain, and it's got like emerald green spikes. I really love the emerald green spikes, and actually. I added that to my own design, making it emerald green. Now you gotta remember, I'm not an artist, guys, so this might this is probably the most shoddy looking one of the shiny sprites, I have to say. But I'm not an artist, but this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking change the body to a more of a copper feel, like a rust, brownish, orangish, reddish color, 
the eyes make it a bright red to stand out from the armor and the tongue as well make that brighter keeping the emerald wings i think those are a really cool concept so i kept that in there then making the original blue parts the darker steel looking parts i made those gold to offset it to more of a bronze gold silver set instead of plain silver and green next we have kangaskhan now this one actually deserves a shiny more than all of the pokemon out there because it looks like someone threw a yellow filter on it a lot of these pokemon look like they threw filters on it and it doesn't really match well so what i did was i did the old let's make it blue thing so we made it bright freaking blue took the actual color from the original like baby kangaskhan put that as the pouch color so it looks like a nido queen nido king combination here so like the nido king shiny sprite with the nido queen basic coloring and then the the baby kangaskhan takes the color of the actual kangaskhan itself just a little bit darker and for this one we added a 40 percent contrast same with the scarling just a little bit of a contrast in there to pop it out and the ear turns a little bit more of a cream palish color standing out just a little bit more than the actual original one itself for number three we have the hound dower line and i chose hound doom for this pick because i just like hound doom a little bit more and i think it was really cool to design so we're looking at the shiny here it looks like someone popped a blue filter on this the red orange color on its face and its belly turn into a pale like a fleshy color and the horns really don't change too much they become like a bright white instead of like a dull silver dull gray color and the body is blue i took some of these aspects and flipped them around a little bit i made the body more a red a blood red type thing if you ever played uh, legend of zelda breath of the wild the blood moon that's sort of what i went here i made the armor like the skeleton armor on it bright blue just to make pop out a little bit and the mouth is a bright yellow sort of resembling the shiny form just a little bit but making it pop a little bit more i also left the underbelly a solid red orange just to give it that little bit of nod back to the original form and this is a 20 percent brightness and a 20 percent contrast added to it from what i actually made it so I think it looks a little bit better this way, and some of them do have these filters on them just to make them look a little bit cleaner. Number two, we got a Giraffe Rig. Now, everybody, this one kind of goes out of their mind when they think of Pokemon. Giraffe Rig is not really a whole lot of thing. I really like the Chain Chomp thing on the back, and I wish it had a pre-evolution that was like the Chain Chomp was the evolution. So it was like it started as the Chain Chomp, and then it evolved into Giraffe Rig. I think that would be really cool. But the shiny form nonetheless basically just lightens up a little bit. The black turns to a brownish color. The yellow turn, the goldish yellow turns to like a bright, vibrant yellow. And then the pink turns to light baby blue. I don't think this is necessarily that bad. I just don't like it as much as what I came up with. We changed this thing around a lot. We just flipped the body parts around and we darkened both sets. So the yellow is a darker yellow than the shiny form. But we also left the black resemblance at the beginning making that a black front put the yellow spots in where the brown and black spots would be put the black spots in where the yellow spots would be on the other two we changed the nose the mouth the, well the nose the tongue and the spikes on the back to a purple giving a nod to a psychic type just a little bit and we left the chain chomp on the back rusty kind of brownish color and gave it red eyes to make it change just a little bit and i think it looks completely menacing that was like a pre-evolution just the chain and like one of the purple spikes on the back i think that would be a really cool shiny form now obviously before we get to number one we get some honorable mentions in here now these are ones that are actual shiny forms because i did not want to spend even more time making the shiny forms because it did take a long time to make these but we have Delibird, it's a pink. I think it would be really cool if you could change it to maybe like a green color, maybe give it like some stripe on it. Make it more like Christmassy type, because that's what Delibird basically is, a Christmas delivering Santa bird. <clears throat> Drapion, um, it's not really digging it for me. It looks like someone did a really bad fruit mix up. So 
like it looks like raspberry, cherry, and blueberry got put in <laughs> Pokemon, and that's not right. I think you could do so much better with this thing. I'm not sure how you would change it. Maybe making it like a solid, like a dark purple or a black or something like that, and throwing some highlights in it. Maybe this would be a perfect example for a red and black shiny. I think that would be really cool. And then dark rye is my final one. Now this thing barely changes a whole lot. Uh, it, the black becomes purple, the red becomes pink, and everything else basically stays the same. What I think would be really cool is you change like the hair color to make it like a bright blonde gold thing. And then the neck, I would say maybe, maybe a, a teal or something like that, and then the body like a gold or something like that just to make it look really cool. So guys, we get to, to number one on this list, and it is Mankey. Now, Mankey, out of all the Pokemon that deserve a m new shiny form, you chose Mankey. It looked like someone just spilled mint on this thing, guys. It's not even that... It's not that different. It gets a little bit of a minty green color. Someone just popped the green filter on it or something, and then gave more color to the brown on the tail and arms. And this is number one mostly because I think it most deserves a new shiny form and also because it is my favorite of the ones I designed. We took Mankey and made it into like a cheesy puff type mon. It looks like a cheesy puff, reddish orange color. Uh, the eyes don't change that much but they are black instead of brown. A solid black and then the tail and the hands and feet become a solid black, making it look really, really fierce. And it really goes with the primate Mankey or angry Pokemon. So that's why we went with that color scheme. And I think it looks really cool. And I really like how this shiny turned out. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more top tens, theories. Pokemon Let's Plays, Let's Plays of other things, and top 5s and top 10s and theories of Legend of Zelda and Sonic videos. This video did take quite some time to create. It took me an entire day to come up with the designs for the shinies. After I went through every single Pokemon, wrote down which ones were similar, which ones were different, which ones I wanted to change, narrowing that list down to 10. And then actually making the shiny forms myself because I'm not much of a computer artist guy so trying to make these was a long long process it probably took me about an hour for each one so that was a lot of time <laughs> put into this video so I really would appreciate a like for you guys it means a lot for me and if you also want to stay updated on the channel subscribing is one of the best ways but another great way to keep updated on what I'm doing is following me on social media like Twitter and Instagram I do a lot about on Twitter with polls and just general things that are going on and Instagram gives me an opportunity to post more pictures and stuff. If I do find a shiny in one of my live streams I do post it on Twitter and Instagram so you will want to stay updated on those and if you guys want let me know in the comment section below and I will post these on Twitter for you my shiny forms and you guys can go look at them there. Well, with all that being said guys I don't have much else to say so I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, guys, I'm ChaosMay006, signing off. Burn it up.